Welcome back to Ninetail Hobbies. In this one, I get to paint out my very first bust. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed uh, painting this. I had never been a fan of um, busts originally. Um, I always thought they looked kind of odd. I don't know, it was just a aesthetic choice. But I printed this out. Uh, one of my favorite characters of all time. I absolutely love Gambit. And this was one of the most fun things I've ever painted in my short hobby career so far. And I didn't think that it was going to be that big of a difference from painting a normal, uh, you know, full-bodied mini but it ended up having quite a few different things that you just wouldn't normally think of. When you're painting a full figure, you know, you have to pick the spots that you want to highlight and have people look at and focus on and everything. And a bust is already framed with the focal points in mind. I mean, you still have to, of course, do highlights and, and shadows and everything like that. But uh, the figure itself is already uh, positioned so that uh, you have a specific frame that you're looking at overall. And one of the things I enjoyed the most out of this was playing with textures. I've done it to a certain extent on different minis, uh, trying to have them look different ways and everything, but every single piece of this offered a different texture to play with. You know, skin and hair, the, the leather in the jacket, and then kind of the metallics for the body armor, and then the you know, head stalking to have it have that spandex look to it. And so I didn't worry about having, you know, necessarily smooth blends on everything. I wanted it to look more like the texture of what it was. So the leather was pretty rough because I wanted it to kind of have that worn look. And then the uh, webbing on the purple uh, offered you know just kind of spot highlights and then I kind of wanted the blue to look a bit more metallic so that offered its own uh, challenges and I loved the open space for the skin I haven't done a lot of things with large patches of skin yet and this definitely kind of drove that interest and I also didn't use a very broad palette on this. There's a lot of similar colors uh, used throughout, especially on the face, the hair, and the jacket, because I wanted to explore what different, or what the same paints would look like with different bases, or next to different ones, or in different ratios. So there's sunny skin tone on the face, the hair, and the jacket, uh, which gives it a cohesiveness, but because of what they're located next to and everything, there's still a separation, there's still a difference uh, without them all looking exactly the same. So that was an interesting experience to kind of go through as well, an interesting experiment uh, as to how versatile a single color can be depending on how you're using it and what you're using it next to. And if anyone is curious, this is a 3D print. I'll put the link into the description below uh, so you can go and download it. It was a really nice model. It was not pre-supported, but it was super easy to throw some supports on there and print it off no problem.
this color right here, Bastion Gray, is my new favorite color for highlighting black. It's just this great tone into itself where you, I mean, you can push it further, you can throw some uh, sunny skin tone or ice yellow or something and then bring in some more highlights, but it just works so well with black uh, if you just glaze in the edges. And it's very, very versatile. It's just got these tiny hints of other colors in it, so it works well in a bunch of different ways. It's a new paint I recently discovered from P3. Highly, highly recommend it. So if you've never painted a bus before, but you've ever been curious, I can't recommend it enough. Like I said at the beginning of this, it was a ton of fun, surprisingly. Um, something different to do. So if you're needing a, a break from painting normal minis, or you've ever been curious, then I'd definitely say go for it. There's a ton of companies out there that do some really neat busts. Thanks for watching another one, and I'll catch you next time.